All right, guys. How y'all like? How y'all like our new music? That 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 that. Oh man, I'm I'm loving the. I'm lo- I'm loving. I, look, 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 ladies. Look, Marlon, Nikki. If y'all, y'all, I'm telling y'all, that new music was on point. I felt special. I, I started singing. I started singing. All I need was all I need was a little, little pair of tight pants and some hard bottom <laughs> shoes, some long socks. You know how you know how the old school pimps be. You know, the, the short pants, like Al Green had the fur hat. And the hot pants on Soul Train that time. Oh, y'all like y'all remember? That? Okay, let's start this off with a little fun. All y'all ladies on here, let's let's, let's tune in. I want y'all to know that John does not did not know that there was a such thing as male lingerie. No, sir. There is a such thing as male lingerie. And most of y'all miss this. Y'all think it's them little hotty toity, hotty toity little hot boy shorts that all the all the little punks overseas wear. But if you a black man, and you live in America, you know that slut gear is what we call it. Gray sweatpants fitting kind of snag tight with a white t shirt. That, my sir, is black male lingerie. If you don't own, you know, tight gray sweatpants and a clean white T-shirt, you ain't shaking nothing. See, and that is the kind of outfit you can wear. I didn't want to tell y'all either, with or without undergarments, depending on your situation when she coming over to the house. I was having a conversation with one of my friends, and he was like, I said, friend, he said, yes. I said, friend, you do know that um, you're not pulling out the stops to get this deal closed with this young lady. Well, what should I do? I said, ha. <laughs> Get you some gray sweatpants and a white T-shirt from Walmart for every bit of seven, eight, nine dollars. You can shake yourself something. He called me back the other day and told me he closed the deal, and she was quite happy to come over and have dinner some other time. So my cousin said, "Wife beat a shirt, right?" Yes. See, my cousin Gianna just said it. Wife beat a shirt. Yes, Lord. See, I don't have to lie about this. See, the white beat a shirt and them sweatpants. Boy, look here. You make the most sanctified as a woman become a devil. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I, I mean, I know y'all don't think I know, but I do. Get your pair of them gray sweatpants, them gray ones that they got at Walmart, the old cotton pants. Wash them one time where they shrink just right. Boy, look here. Boy, you, I'm telling you, you should do some strange things to you for a little piece of change. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on into the seriousness of this thing. Is that your phone on there, Nate? I can hear something coming through. It might be my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, just turn that down a little bit. There you go. Is that better? That's better. All right. I want y'all to call in 904-302-7220 tonight because I want to be talking about some issues that mm, are near and dear to my heart, some of them, and others are just what they are. Um... How y'all feel about what Don, Donald Trump did this weekend? How y'all feel about him firing the prosecutor that was looking into him for treason? Wow. This, I'm like, this, damn. This dude crams a year of presidency into a week. <laughs> I mean, more shit happens in a week. You get to the end of the week and go, how long's this motherfucker been president? <laughs> Since, like, the 90s? Fuck. It's been 110 days. Every day. Look, I'm going to say this. Fucking hangover for if him. The, if, if the nigga boy would have pulled as much shit as Donald Trump just pulled, boy, they'd have been got him out of there. They'd have shot him. They'd have shot him. They, if, if, he, if Obama would have pulled as much stuff as this motherfucker pulled in 110 days, he'd have been dead on 111. I'm just letting y'all know this right That's now. It's crazy. I'm like, God damn. I mean, he fi- hey, Look. The local politician, what her name is, um, with the badass wig, um, damn, Betty. Local the, politician here yeah, in Jackson. The lady that just got found guilty of nine, eighteen or nineteen counts oh, of twenty-two. Oh, oh yeah, um, I don't know her name, but um, she's from Jacksonville. Yeah, it's more, they, she in her seventies. She been the boy. They found this mother guilty of everything but killing Kennedy. God damn, she got. I mean. And I ain't mad, but I mean, no offense. She probably she ain't doing no different than white politicians have done. 
built the Corrine Corrine Brown. Corrine Brown. Pull up pictures, motherfucker. Pull up. Yeah. She bought it. If y'all see, and, and it's about she did a real good thing for the black community, but that don't mean she ain't doing good for herself. But the one thing she did not do was fix that damn wig. That wig alone should have got her put in jail. Cause that wig was some bullshit, you mean? I don't hate the brown on this hand. Y'all know her wig was on the fucked up side of life. Look at that wig. Pull that throw that wig up. Boy, look at That nigga, she looked like Fair Fawcett, Oprah Winfrey, and Janet Jackson from night from, from the control video all in one. <laughs> <laughs> look at that wig. You don't know that motherfucker start doing a you don't know. I'm just saying, you don't know what she can do. <laughs> what is she? What, what's her position? Um, it's convict. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wig. Boy, that wig. Boy, that wig had a mind of his own. Look at that mom. Look at it. Look at that hat. That one with the hat on. That hat mad than a motherfucker. Look at it. Go back up to the hat. Go back. Look at that hat. Boy, that hat hot as hell. You mean? That hat is frowning and everything. Look at it. <laughs> it looked like boy look here. Woo! All the money they say she stole, she ain't doing nothing with that damn How wig. much did she steal? Oh, he look it up. I mean they say she they say she they say she was lighting their ass up. They book hey, boy look here. It must have been a lot. Boy, I, look, I did. I, I I just don't follow politics. 120, anymore. I think it was 20, 18 and 18 of 22 counts or 19 of 22 counts. Two days ago, she just got convicted, huh? Yeah, they, oh yeah. I, and I'm sad for her because I, I'm, I'm making light of it, but she, she always, she did fight for the people in her, in her, re, in her area, and she always tried to make the best for people. Of Eighteen color. to twenty-two charges against her, including lying her taxes and her congressional financial disclosure forms. Wow, she's what? been doing this for a long time too. Right. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Eight hundred thousand dollars between 2012 and 2016. Right. But I mean. Here's my thing. And I'm not mad. I'm not going to ever be angry with her. I'm not going to ever knock her down. The judge, they said the judge, my cousin said the judge went ham on her. My cousin said she got so many wigs. <laughs> she must be got so many, so many wigs like Albert Einstein has so many suits, but they all the same fucking suit. That's all I'm saying. I'm just You know saying. this lady? Well, I, I know of her from years of, from growing up in Jacksonville. She's been like a staple in our community. And when they went to re re um structure the um the lines, the the voter lines, which was oh a, yeah the districts the, the districts yeah she was she was out there front row because I'm I'm sure her parents well they were don't. gerrymandering the the districts to try right. to make it so right right and so she paying for it now because she talked against it. Yeah, that's probably true. But let's really be honest. She stole less than a less than a million dollars. Yep. Send, send that woman home. Shit, I know white politicians on Capitol Hill knock the they knock they. For, how, how, here's the th thing: she she got found guilty and going to prison, but Donald Trump ain't shit happened to him. I think if the heat comes down here, that he's going to do what Nixon did. He's just going to resign. Mike Pence is going to pardon him of all of his sins, and then that's it. He goes right back to being a billionaire with the plane and the wife and the business that's how simple it is and it's that simple and the side bitch named Omarosa. yep i'm just saying that's one of i think there might be some more but but my thing is <sighs> black people in, black people in the city of jacksonville just remember this hell nobody's hands are clean everybody has dirty hands in some way especially in politics the term politics means many poly ticks parasites many parasites and she was probably a lot less parasitical than all the others above her and be around her. And if she isn't, she's no worse than the ones we all had out there. She was always standing up, standing up for for what she thought was right. I don't know how how guilty she is. I don't particularly care about what the court say. But I also say this: I am, I am quite sad. And even though I, I make light of her wigs, I always did. This ain't nothing new. I, I, I feel for the Brown family and Miss Brown because now she's faced with her legacy being besmirched by this. They'll never let you remember all the good things she did. They'll, I often say this, and a lot of people might not like this, especially my gay community. A man may build a thousand bridges, but suck one pecker. 
He is no longer known as a bridge builder. But a peck of liquor he is. I'm just saying. That's just the way they do you. They they want to make the the one bad thing you do or the one thing that people don't agree with you do or the one thing that people are against you doing for the most part, the, the mainstream, and make that be your legacy. Let's not let this be the legacy of Corrine Brown. Let's not let her her guilt or innocence in the courts of the king or the kings as it may be be her last stand or last words said about miss brown and if you want to call me and say something about something miss corin brown did in your district or that what she stood for how she helped you as a kid as a kid or excuse me or for your for your for your area hit me up at 904-302-7220 i'm i'm willing to listen to you let's let's if she has to go to prison let's let her know we do respect what she tried to do and um Every, no offense, you leave enough money around the best of men. Let me tell you something. Taxes are bullshit to start with, but you know what the job is. You got to do what you got to do. It is what it is. But let's get this established, man. We <laughs> She just ain't still good as a white folk. And I'm going to say that. John's a white guy. He know I love him, but I know some white folks still a whole heap of damn money. Look at Donald Trump. How much that motherfucker does he uh, Listen. The the more he does, the 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 less you pay attention. They haven't still never seen his tax returns. So they don't know what's on that. He claims his tax returns are this tall, stacked up paper. It should be he made enough money, shit. Well, I'm there's just a reason saying. people don't show their taxes. They don't just not show them because they don't want their reason. With Dang. him, it's probably ego. Probably didn't make as much money as everybody thought. <laughs> Damn. That's the that's the way that guy is, man. It's all about ego, dude. You don't give I listened to these people from Liberty University he spoke today. Who spoke? Trump spoke at the commencement for Liberty University, Damn, you know, they... Falwells and all that. He spoke. Pl- place was packed. They interviewed a family before. It was a white family. And they said uh, the whole family was like white upper middle class people and they all voted for Trump except the one daughter. And the and the and the mother got all she got all like um all but i voted for donald trump for what he can do and not who he is and this is my country crying this it's, is my country it's your country cuz your great grand great grandfather stole the motherfucker what do you want you what do you mean what man let me tell people. you something I, and I, I john stay on i want you to keep i want you to look up put john put yourself back up though. let's get this established john is 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 like my white brother from another mother. He's like the older brother that's like looks at the, the younger brother and like this motherfucker is crazy, man. <laughs> Family, but hey, you know we got to deal with him. Somebody go in there and wake him up. He's snoring real loud, <laughs> and you know that's just what it is. You deal with it. But the problem is, we got to get to the realization this ain't a white man in America. White, you you stole it. You stole it. You you, you was damn cunning in the way you got it. And now they got you paying for water. Air is next. Air is next. You do know air is next. Air quality is next. And if you ain't got no money, you're going to live in the... <laughs> my cousin just said, hey, cousin John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they do have... There's actually a plan. I just saw it uh, six, eight months ago where they are going to sell air. A couple things. They're going to build these like air domes where you go and it's purified air and you can live and sleep and stay in there and all that stuff. And they have the, they control the air in there, so you can escape bad air if you pay. Essentially, I already saw it. It's uh, these guys in China are going to do it because that air is at a premium there. That's the worst quality of air anywhere. Right. And they create create these domes where buildings and stuff or hotels are in it, and you sit in there for a week or two and you breathe clean air. Yeah. And for a price. Yeah. Here's here's the messed up part about it. Stop fucking up the air that we got. Stop touching stuff. And wasn't fucking with y'all, but now y'all bothering with it. And the problem is, we as Americans, the, the, the sheeple that live in America, and I did say sheeple. I made a statement today, and I'm, I'm going to put it on. I'm, 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 it's going to be my next T-shirt. They hunt those they cannot control, but they herd the ones they can. Say that again? Ah, you like that. Yeah, I did. They hunt those they cannot control. But they heard the ones they can. That's ain't that the truth? It's a lot of sisters. I tell them all the time. You're in the, you're in the herd. You're in the herd. 
You're in the herd. And they thinning out the herd. Now they putting they putting the un the un have you ever noticed they're putting the unsatisfactory built and looking black women in prison. Because you know black women go to prison far at a, at a higher rate than any other dynamic in the country now. And you just the ugly black woman, the one with the gold teeth, missing teeth, cocked eye, club foot, cleft palate. That are really going they, they thinning that line down. Because they're going to keep the ones that, that, that love, they love Master. They love Master. Master good. He good to us. He good to us. He, he treat us so good. And they're going to take care of them and make sure that they, they, because they, they want to mate with them because they're hurting them. But those ones that are militant, the good looking ones, they're going to put their ass in jail. Get rid of them. Kill them off. Be done with them. They're agitators. Militants. And you got a group of white people that are upper middle class who, no offense, is disintegrating at this point, at, at, at a point that is high middle class is disappearing faster, faster than virgins in America. I think you probably got a bigger, you got, a, you got more virgins in America than, a, than, than middle class. Yeah, well, you, that's what happens when you have a, a disparity of income that grows and grows. Night, uh, uh, less than five percent of the people have something like ninety percent of the wealth. wasn't like that in the nineteen fifties when we had a ninety percent tax rate. We had a middle class that was the middle class was bigger than the lower class and the higher class by a mile. There was a ton of people in the middle with the one house, one or two cars, three and a half kids. They all went to school. They all lived in a house. White people and black people. Blacks had high, high, Blacks were married longer than everybody you, else. Correct. And then you get this disparity of income, which starts pulling people apart, and then people start going in different directions. And I'm going to tell you something. The white middle class is smart. Because I'm going to tell you why. I say that because it ain't like that for blacks. Black woman has been taught how not that she don't need a man. The white woman has been taught how to keep a man. I say that all the time. And when you think about it, I ain't lying. Who is the one you always hear say, I don't need no man? You don't never hear a white woman say that. And if you do, she's a she's a bitter, she's a bitter pill to swallow anyway. Or none. Or, eh, or just a crazy chick. <laughs> but you always hear a black woman. I don't need no man. I anything a man can do for me, I can do for myself. Do you know at this point in time, uh, this is the the highest point in the history of us keeping track of the statistic of single people, which is, goes way back, it's at its highest point right now, and it's on a it's on an upward slope that's not deviating. It's at I just saw the stat. I can't remember. And here's what, what here's what women here's what women. There's is. more single women than married women. And and I'm gonna give you something. I'm finna give you one. Y'all finna love this. For all you feminists out there. Just in case you don't know, you are the weaker vessel for those ones. You are not you are not equal to me in any way. And when they get you out there far enough, long enough, they're going to start taking what they want without even asking you for it. They're going to herd you just like they do sheep. Because there's no protection for you. There's no husband in the house. See, having a husband in the house, ten, um, an alpha male, let's call it what it is. Having an alpha male in the house. Having an alpha male in the house, my daughter's calling me while I am on on my daughter's calling me while I am on the radio. Um, having an alpha male in the house, you know what I'm saying? You are stuck with a man that actually wants to be the man. But without an alpha male in the house, or another woman, or your or your wife, yeah, you ain't protecting nothing, sister. I want you to know that. For all y'all all y'all gay women that, that, that love and marriage, you just made yourself too wise for somebody. I'm just saying. That's what it's going to we're looking at the way the crime rate is going. These crazy these crazy jokers will come take you hostage and do what they want to you. Oh, you crazy. You just a conspiracy theorist. I have heard men talk. And it's scary to hear what they say. So, just so long as you know, I don't care how much Muay Thai you learn or how much, um, how many guns you buy, they will overpower you and take and have their way with you. And and with and th th that's the bad part about it. 
you can't build family you can't build family without male and female otherwise you just round up because no offense you got two men in the house and and it's just two men in the house eventually that family will die away same thing with women right or wrong come on correct so i have to make the statement Stop letting society tell you what's good and, and, and okay. It's not. And, 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 and do what you do. Do what makes you happy. But just know this is the setup that's going. Because like you said, it's a steep, steep incline going up. Yes. To, to, uh, for the first time ever. And, and this article, and this is the article that I actually read. Susan B. Anthony predicted it. In 1877, she wrote a speech. The homes of single women, and she goes on to talk about how it's that's how it's going to be. Yeah, but didn't didn't she have something to do with the feminist movement? It, well, yeah, there you for go. sure. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but um, and she wanted it that way. Nobody. I've seen Susan B. Anthony. She was not a wanted woman. I mean, I mean, <laughs> she was she was she, um she was ugly as a pair of work She looks boots. good on the dollar on the sil- little dollar. Yeah, because dollar. you can't really see her see her features. That's right. Well, see, I mean, listen. I mean. But they but they'll put the ugly picture of Harry Tubman on a dollar where you can see all her features. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch, boy? Dude. Yeah, lowest lowest uh lowest um percentage drop from fifty seven to fifty two mm. percent. Uh marriage. Married women are fifty two percent in two thousand nine and it's now it's below that. So there are more single women than married women of adult age in the United States. And that trend is not abating. It's not slowing well, no, down. No, I'm going to tell you why. Because the government has been allowing women to a, 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 a stink, go up high, be, be more than men are. Men, for the most part, especially black men. I can only speak for black men. Black men, we obsolete now. I mean, they don't need us for nothing, they say. So, so... You know, I look at it and say, "Look, man, we, if, if you can't make nobody, you can't you can't make yourself valuable. I don't care how much you do, you can't make yourself valuable. But what you can do is 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 make is keep being a man, and they will find that you're needed." And my cousin asked me, "What's in my my What's in my cup?" I'm drinking tea, baby. Green tea, regular old green tea, eh? Ain't, ain't ain't no ain't no ain't no 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 look in here. I don't do that. I do. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. John. <laughs> well, white guy, Irish. You know, Irish. That's I, us. Irish. That's, that's we Irish. Born with a bottle in our yeah. hand. Yeah, and I don't mean a baby bottle either. Yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> I used to rub the whiskey on your on your teeth when you were teething. Start you off early. Hey, but my thing is, we don't want to talk about this part. This part of it is 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 is, is what's the word? Not passe. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, mm, risque. It's kind of risque, I think, to speak of these things in this, you know, in this way. But I, I'm gonna simply say this: prime kitty cat years for a woman is 18 to 29. And if you're 18 to 29, you're in your prime years. You know, and after that. It is what it is, and you're probably going to end up single anyway for the most part if you don't change your ways. Because the average man be like, man, I don't need a man. I, look, man, I need somebody to help me, help me get up. Her knee's bad as mine. And that's what a lot of guys think. That's not all. It's a lot of guys think that way. But the sad part of, you know what I'm saying, I am, I have to be honest. It seems like... <laughs> The reason it keeps going up is because these women teach their girls this same foolish ideology. And no offense, without one another, they ain't got to worry about they keep being an influx of too many people. Because I can guarantee you this, without each other, we're going to die off real fast. Do you think that trend of um women being single stops and if so where does it stop at i don't particularly care at this point because i don't want all of them. No, i know I you don't care one. but i mean if where does it stop when, when, when it stops when um you know it, the divorce rate has climbed but it's it's i uh, just read it's cut it's it's seeing its first leveling off well among and, and, the, and the and and the two are 
intersect with each other. Single women and divorce rate, there are in that single right. women class are divorced women. So at some point, if the if that if that's going off, then the only people that are feeding the single women are the women who never get married. Just oh. get out of college and don't get married. But, but no offense, I'm gonna I'm be honest with you. And I, I mean, I, I, two things I don't want is a, a, a black woman or a black woman or man and ain't never been married. I be damned. They have the most. Yeah, they, dude, I used to say that shit when 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 I when I got divorced the first time I was in my thirties. I I was writing ads on. This was before Match. Right. This was, okay. And after I, I, I went through this, like, 97, 98, I dated three or four of these girls, and I'd never experienced them before. They were the uh, never-been-married-before chicks. <sighs> Let me just t- describe a couple of them. Okay. Now, these are white chicks, okay? I don't know about so, them. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you about them. <laughs> I'll, let me tell you about them. They fucking know everything. We know everything. We, at the first girl, I'm not going to get get any names, but the people that know me know this chick, <clears throat> and she was a psycho, nuts, n- kooky, nuts. Ended up locked up and everything else. She used to say, "This was her favorite phrase. You need to go ahead and followed by instructions for me, dude. This was like a weekend of meeting her. <laughs> you need to go ahead and." So I dealt with it. And I'm like, and you know what they say, man? Those crazy chicks. Yeah. They're always the best sex, uh, right? Uh, okay. And that's why you stick they around for strange, any amount of time. This chick was things. fucking nuts. And she'd say, you need to go ahead and you need to go ahead. The end of the relationship was she owned a, a, a condo and uh, she owned a high-rise condo on the beach, which was cool. And she owned a, another condo. She ran. I went over to paint it. And I sat there painting with her. Now, I painted houses and shit, did it for a living, couple summers. It, it yeah, ain't, like, it ain't like rocket me. science, yeah, like dude. Me. Like I do. Yeah. I'm painting, and she's behind me. You need to go ahead. You need to go ahead. I said, holy fuck. I've never wanted to strangle a woman. I never got to that <laughs> point. I never got to a point. I just sat there going, and I said, we went out to dinner. She said some shit to me about not, you know, and I'm a pretty polite dude. And I left her. I walked away. I said, I- I'm done with you. Three months? It's fucking torture. You're you're the most torturous. Done. Psycho chick, bunch of stuff happened, came back, broke into my house, broke into my AOL account, wrote all my family and friends. Okay. Dated like two or three more, went to one. Exactly the same thing. I know everything. I know everything. I'm 38, you're 35, but I know everything. This is what you need to do. I own my house. I own my car. I know everything about everything. I got to like the fourth one spread out over two years and I went, holy shit, I am done. I'm over. I'm done with this shit. No offense to you guys, but the never before marriage, and I know a couple people. I got a really good friend. Right. She may or may not be listening. She does okay. She's cool. I never had to date her. I never did date her. She's one of the cool people, but the rest of them, that shit was crazy. And you know what? Who the fuck would want to date that? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you what really messed up. When you get the one that is successful for black men, I'm a black woman, speak of black women, successful black woman that that hasn't been married, you really can't tell her that I don't need a man. Okay, and I'm cool with that. And I made my mind up. Is you got those, and you got those ones that are educated, that that may do well for themselves, that 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 are doing better than their exes are doing, and they think that 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 you know makes them quote unquote the 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 reason they're not the reason the marriage or the relationship fail. <laughs> That's all the more reason it's failed because if. You don't, if I don't know anything, why in the hell am I with you? Maybe I picked the wrong somebody. So for me, I made my mind up that I love sisters. I do. And, and I, 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 um, I would love to, I would love to, um, to make it abundantly clear to everyone. Um, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but you cannot, you cannot, will not, shall not ever go forward. If you keep doing what you did all your life. Because they say that insanity is doing the same thing the same way, expecting a different outcome. If you can't keep a man, it can't be the man problem. And you know what? Marlene just made a statement. She said, African men and women no longer know how to relate to each other. The woman ha- has been brainwashed to adopt to an I don't need a man. I'm just as I'm just as much as a man as you. You know what? Marlene, you have spoken the truth, my lady. 
and that's why I always say whenever I hear a woman say I'm a strong independent black woman J-Rock my, my fighters over there knows my philosophy on that okay I'm gonna let you show me so when a fight break out I'm watching <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if they start gunning black people down right now today, and black and that black woman is in there, I'm about to get gunned down line, and I got my AR-15 or AK-47, a pump shotgun or whatever, I'm not wasting the bullet to save her ass. I'm going to let you show me how strong and independent you are. Take this, take this round and tell me how that work out for you. See, if you just as much man as I am, I'm not going to put myself... No, I'm not fighting, cuz. My cousin, said, you know you're fighting. No, I ain't. Uh-uh. One thing I've learned is this here. I let people prove to me. I let you prove it to me. If you tell me you're going to kick my ass, I ain't going to try to talk you out of it. I just go ahead and let you try to do it. Have you ever seen me talk a guy to trying to beat me up, John? In, in any fight you ever seen me in, I beat him talking trash to him. And when the bell ring, I let him prove to me he can do just what he said. The problem is, the problem is the system has allowed this kind of mentality to go on. It's up to us as black men to allow it, to, to make it stop by simply doing what I say. Okay, that's how you feel. Like my grandma would say, every now and then you gotta just throw your hands up and let it happen. I'm letting it happen. I'm not I'm not breaking up no fight. I'm telling you right now, if I see the KKK beating your ass, you done told me you're strong and independent, your ass is just whooped. And I mean that. Because the system has made you believe you know it all. I'm as good as any man. You are. You as good as any man. But can you fight as good? Are you willing to take as many bullets? See, here's the messed up part about the system. The system has made us to not understand that the man has a desire to serve the woman. And we also want to, you know what I'm saying, also, we also want to love you to the point we're willing to lay our life down for you. But when you get to making statements like that, that just changed my mind. What do you feel about that, John? Uh, well, here's what I'll say. Um, <laughs> I don't spin my wheels anymore thinking about people being single. I think if they do what, what they want to do, they want they do what they do. All I know is I'm done. I'm married now, and my wife doesn't feel that way. She's an old school Cuban. Oh yeah. She don't. They don't. They they're old school, and I like that shit. Let me tell you something. Oh yeah. I like that shit. It is. It's really good. <laughs> I mean, you know, and and it's sad to say that I. Oh God, I don't even want to go here, but I gotta go here. I gotta go here. What's up, Devin? I gotta go here. If I hear one more black woman get mad because a, a brother marries a Spanish woman, not a Spanish woman, well, not Spanish, Hispanic, because Hispanic means there's some other stuff in there. Latino. La, la, Latino. Any Latin is not Latino. Lat, Latin means Spanish from Spain. Lat, uh, his, Spanish means Spanish from Spain. His um, um all those all those nos at the end mean there's something else mixed in. Right. You, Latino. Yeah, one of us. Yeah. 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 Usually, one of us mixed in means that's it means that is us mixed in. Yeah. And um, sisters, y'all outnumber black men three point four, three point two, three point four to one. And if black men ain't marrying black women at a breakneck pace, uh, it ain't all the black man fault. Not all of it. Cause it can't be all of it. Because too many black men are getting married to other women. So. How do we fix this? How do we remedy this? How do we make this this whole statement not be so? I really look. I really want to hear from Marlene if she's on or Gianna. Nine oh well Marlene first, but Gianna, I would love you to call in too. Nine oh four three zero two seven two two zero. And I really want to know how y'all feel about that. How do we stem the tide of that? How do we get back to relating to each other? How do we get back to to getting how? It ain't all, no, that's what I'm saying, Gianna, that's the whole point. It ain't all the black woman fault, it ain't all the black man fault. Let's get that established. It can't be. It ain't enough black men for it to be all the black man fault because we did the math. It's only about, what, 7.5 7 to 7, 7.5 million black men of adult age in America? I'll look it up. 
Well, it's 13% of the pot. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, oh, Marlon, 904-302-7220. 904-302-7220. Marlon, I want you to call in because Marlon has a great perspective on this. And you call in and John will pick up and we, he's going to look up some... He's going he's looking up some stuff right now. 904-302-7220. Marlin. Mar- Marlin Love. Marlin is an outstanding singer by the way, guys. She's um Okay, got it. 21.5 million black men right now. Let me see what year this is. This is 2013. Here comes the call, by the way. All right. Devin, you dead right. Devin, I want you to call in about that. Hey, Marlene, what's going on, girl? Hi, you know, I had to, I had to turn it up. on this topic because this is something that's just, it is so close to my heart. I know. And, 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 and I have to say this, and I believe this without a shadow of a doubt, and I know some people may disagree, but the relationship between the African-American woman and the African-American man has been deliberately destroyed. Mm. And I'm going to tell you some of the things that have been used to destroy that relationship. The feminist movement, of course, we've talked about that. It it has brainwashed women into believing that they don't need a man, you know, and and taking this stand that I don't have to respect my man. I'm just as much of a man as he is. And he's got to respect me because now I can go out and make as much money as he makes and all of that jazz. Okay, so that was one of the tools that destroyed our relationship. And again, like I said, it took the woman out of her proper place mentally because we are your equal. But that does not mean that you are not supposed to be treated like a man. You are the man. You're supposed to be the head of the household. I'm supposed to honor you. I'm supposed to respect you. And I'm supposed to look at you as my provider, my king. Okay? It's okay if I can, you know, help you out. Don't get me wrong. It's okay if I can go out and make just as much money as you make. But yet, when I come home, you are my king. And I'm supposed to treat you that way. Okay? So that's tool number one that destroyed the relationship with the African-American man and woman. Tool number two is pornography, and I know nobody want to talk about it, Why but I, let's I, tell I, the truth. Let's talk minute, about Marlene, it. Marlene, Marlene, Marlene. Every time. What's wrong with porn? Yeah. What's wrong with porn? I mean, look, porn ain't. Am I texting myself too much? Look, <laughs> you, got to, you got to hear me out. You got to hear me out. Let me tell you how porn destroyed marriage. Not just the black man and, and the black woman's marriage, but let's, 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 let's talk about it. When a black man comes home and he opens up a magazine and what he sees is a whole bunch of, and I, I don't get me, I, I love all people, but let me, let me clarify before I say what I say. I love all people. God created a rainbow of, of beautiful people. I love all people. But I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be honest. And people who can't accept the truth, I'm sorry for you. Mm. But when a man comes home and all you see is a whole bunch of white women with their legs spread open, because back in the day, black women weren't even accepted into that arena. You, nobody could, you weren't looking for a black porn star at certain times of our history, okay? What's not accepted. You weren't going to see a beautiful black woman spread in a Playboy magazine. But we went through an era where our men, they looked at porn magazines, Playboy, and what you saw was the blondes, the blue eyes, the brunettes, all white women. Then they took it a step further. You turn on certain television shows, you get a little bit of soft porn, lure you in even more. Then when you, nowadays, you turn on your cell phone. Men come home, they get on the computers, they got viruses. First thing you see is, hey baby, you want to chat? White girl. White Mm -hmm. women are running in the minds of these men everywhere. They even have songs about it. They have songs you can't get away from. Give me some of that back there. They come after you with on your cell phone, your computer at home. It's in the book. When you open up your book, you want to pimp out your ride. You open up the book, what you see a white girl spread, bent over a tail light trying to sell you a part. So what has happened is when you think about sex, the first image you're going to see is a white girl. So men, you know, when they're thinking about that, they're at the job and they're thinking about men. 
I'm having this romantic moment. The first thing that comes to their mind is a white girl. Then you get home and now your black woman don't want to do some of the stuff that he doesn't heard the white girls are doing. And I went through that era. I've been there, done that. Heard my husband come home and say, oh, but the white girls do it. Why you won't do it? <laughs> you see, they have used so many tools to destroy the relationship between the black man and the black woman. And then the final blow was this whole, the black woman is not submitful. She doesn't want to submit to her man. You know, and we we hear that constantly, you know, they use that stereotype on television shows. That's the image they present. You know, we're that strong black woman that don't want to submit. Maybe a little ghetto fabulous. So our culture has been attacked. We've been turned against each other because our king look at us as if she's not a crown. She's that ghetto fabulous stereotype that doesn't want to submit. I don't want that. I want this homemaker girl that I see on TV all the time. You know, uh, Mr. Green Jeans and, you know, all that nice, wonderful stuff they present. They always present white women as the submitful woman, the woman that has all the strength and all the intelligence. And she's everything. That's the image we're constantly bombarded with when it comes to white women. Hey, 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 hold hold, hold on one second. Woman, hold, hold on one second. second. We got up on the screen. I just I knew this because I heard them say it on the radio. But Pornhub, porn which is the number one or two porn free porn site, now took statistics on what people are doing in 2016. They gave the most searched terms and they ranked it By based far. on their hits. Lesbian. So, lesbian, uh, lesbian, stepmom, milf, teen, stepsister, mom, cartoon. Those are cartoon the and hentai I, are above ebony and are above ebony and Asian and black. Black's all the way at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Yeah, black is third, third from, from the, the bottom. Black is third from the last. Third from the last. Bottom. Yeah. People See, are searching cartoons more than they search black. Okay. Two different kinds: cartoons and hentai. Right. Th- that's that weird. And, uh, they, they people search like Asian look here. people and I'm cartoons. A dis- look, look here. People look for people search anal. <laughs> ahead. <laughs> ahead of ebony. Ahead of ebony. I'm I'm serious. And I don't okay, know what Overwatch is. I don't know overwatches. I'm, I don't from what I heard, I'm, I'm green as grass. So now, <laughs> now I, I'm I'm glad you're giving the statistics because what from what I heard, we're the last to be searched. That's, you're that's, third that's from the I bottom. Hey. You're you're just above squirt okay. and, and gangbang. Bang bang. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there you go. There you have it. Now and hey, I, so and our numbers so are just about the same. If they're, if right they're, then and there, you know, when men think porn, they're not thinking us, and that thinking, has become the predominant. They definitely think. Uh, they definitely think it's squirt and gangbang. Men, I mean that's a hard day of work shoot even when they're at work what is on their minds and that's because that's this culture our society is a sex driven society Devin so is our, whole, our entire society has been conditioned to think of sex even you know even in the meantime or the part time or whenever you know two minute break two and minute. so the image the first the thing you think of when you're thinking about that is a white woman that's I'm not, sorry. That's that's not the reality true. of it that's not that's not all of us i mean because i'm be honest with you not all of us. I mean, not all of us. Not all men. I know, I know. But, but, I know but, it's not all but, of but, you. but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I do like, I do, I do think Spanish women are beautiful. But not Spanish. Uh, I mean, Hispanic. I mean. Okay, see, and it, it's nothing wrong with that. They are. I, yes. I, I have no problem with that. But listen, I'm going to tell you something. What I'm saying most is. Most search terms by gender. Watch this. Watch this. Guess what huh? the most search term by gender is? For women, it is lesbian. For men, it's what? MILF. For men, it's MILF. But it's still, Ebony is fourth from the bottom. <laughs> okay. And, bla- and, and on women, the yeah, but listen, on women, black is fi- is way higher for right. women in a search term. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh down the list. Uh, uh, just just below stepdad and daughter, lesbian seduces straight, <laughs> oh big, big black dick and threesome. Uh-huh. Well, black is up there. Oh See? My word. Black is up there. Well, yeah, listen, but it's big black dick. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the numbers speak for themselves because, you know, um, Nate said that it's not, it can't be all the men. But, hey, I mean, you uh, have it right there. Come on. The men are the ones primarily. Hey, hey, the, uh, hey, that's not button. true. That's not. And, and th- they're that showing is, you uh, what their preference Marlene, is. Marlene, that is not true. 
And you are, and look, most. Oh my lord. Okay, it ain't. Look, it ain't that many of us. Well, here you go. Here's the one that's going to prove it. Most searched porn stars, top to bottom, and there's the list, and there's the girls on the right. I don't see. Wait a minute. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Okay, because I'm on the call, I can't see. Kim Kardashian. No, listen. It's all white women. It's all white women. Well, there you go. See, now do I have to repeat myself? No, I don't. There, it there it is. It's right there. Okay. So it is primarily the men's fault. Why so many African American women are sitting up here single? It's not all of us are. You know, don't have that uh uh independent independent woman. I don't need a man. Okay. I'm I'm not one of those black. type of women. Me personally, I'm I'm to the point of wanting to get out on the side with a street with a sign, one of those picket fans. Hey, black woman needs a man. Anyone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So hey, but you I'm can't be with say you, that all of us no, are not. like that. It's no, not true, it's not. Marlene. But I'm gonna be honest. Some with you. of us. But for you, I'm gonna tell you like this. Huh? I, my problem is how we go to church now. Oh well, the Mandingo is oh, this guy. No. <laughs> is this dude? <laughs> Yeah, Mandingo is a black guy. I, the, the I can one, barely yeah. hear what Nate is saying. Hey, hey, can he speak up a little bit? Hey, Marlene. Marlene, can you hear me now? Yes. Well, Ma- uh, well uh, You're still quite low. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Well, the highest rated um, porn star male is a black search guy. For Ma- search for Search for was a guy named Mandingo. He's the most, so, most searched for. James Dean. He searched Let me see who who? James Dean is. James Dean. He's, he's a white guy. Yeah. Okay. Black. The, the most searched porn star for males is a black guy. It's a black guy. But everybody else, more than likely, the females are the females searched are all white. All white. So I, I, I'm not knocking what you're saying because the I believe females searched. Yeah. African American women. No, no the, the ones that women what? are searching. For, the ones that are being searched. No, fe- all women searching all men the top guy is a black guy named mandingo all men searching women the top 10 are all white females all white okay well there you go i mean that i mean that, i'm not and, surprised and, no, at I, all I, I knew, because I knew everyone's correct. running after black men nowadays you know i'm i'm, I'm sorry I, I like i said i'm a universal person i love all well, people but i'm just right speaking now. frankly well, I keep trying to tell you honestly this. Marlene. everyone's trying to get a black man right about now Marlene. spanish white you asian you you name it everybody Marlene. wants a black man but, and then bingo, but black women don't your proof right but, there but, but black that's who but, they're searching for but Marlene. in real life and on the computer marlin marlin can you hear me can you hear me can you hear yes me? i hear you but black women don't Black women come with all these external prerequisites that most black men can't live up to. A lot of black men can't live up to them. But I watch, and and, and, I, and I'm, I'm not saying all black women, but a lot of black women that are bitching and moaning. My, my mama told me something before she passed away. She said the one thing, the one thing that you got to remember, baby, if your shit was all together, you wouldn't have been divorced. Or you, you would have but somebody. Nobody, My mama nobody told me that. Nobody has it all together. Right, but, but I've seen men who will sell their soul to keep it together for the white chick. But over here, back over here, where the sisters lie, if I just say the wrong thing out of line one time... You're ready to put me in my place, pack your bags, and tell me oh, they no. can either bow down and, and, and worship me or else. No, stop it. Stop it. Yes. No, I'm listening. I am telling you what I know. I am. I will be 49 years old this year. And I am telling you straight face, honest to God's truth. I've known men who have admitted that they treat white women different oh. from the, from when they had black girlfriends. Oh, no. They will. Tr- they treat white women better then they treat black women. That is just how it is. I don't believe that. That is how it is. Because because we black men say the same thing about black women. About black women, black women are docile and laid back, and perfect example. And I'm gonna say this because she said it first. Serena Serena Williams, you know what I'm saying? Makes made somebody say she said the black well, white men treat her better. Well, treat you better not because you got a what 190 million to 200 million dollars. But I bet. When you were broke, they treated you differently because they called you Pickaninny and all kind of names. And I know they did because I heard them call you that. So stop saying that it's black men that do that. You know what I'm saying? But because right, it's, I mean, it's, because it's 150, she's worth. She worth 150 million dollars, and I'm gonna tell you like this: here. I remember when she first started, and they had them little bees in their head. 
Oh, they dogged him in the ground. Right. You can talk all you want. Right. I'm, I heard a dude say them little. Them, them, he, I, I heard a white dude say this one day, and um, I cussed him out. He he, he made a statement. Ugh. Those little those little 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 black girls. Basically, he was basically saying he called him a, he called him wanted to call him a name, but the way he said it was derogatory. Stop. Stop making this out to be about all black men act this way because all black men don't act this right. way. Right. All black right. women I'm don't act this way. I'm not going to say it's all. I'm not going to say it's all. I'm going to give you one. I'm, I'm going to give you one. Marlene, 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 listen. My trainer, John David Jackson, is married to a white woman named Kathy. Her name is, I told Kathy, you about you got the whitest name of any white woman. I know she lives really right down under you. Um, Kathy, her name is Mary Catherine is what her name is. Kathy is awesome lady. I, I, I always sing her great. Her, 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 her graces, her sing her on praises, because when John lost everything as a fighter, that woman went and got multiple jobs to take care of him till he got up on his feet. And I asked her one day, why did she do that? She said, because look at where I live now, and look at where I lived when he was tr- he was struggling. She said, him with one job got us this, me with three jobs can only get us that. And she understood his value, even though at that point his value wasn't what it is now. So I can say that all white no, but it's not all. It's not all. That that's just that one. And my thing is, I want us as a people to stop acting like that to treat to treat a black woman a certain way is a prerequisite, or to treat a white woman differently is the no. It's not that way. Come on, man. We better than that. Uh, okay, well let me let me give you a story. You shared a story, and that's a beautiful story. It's a fair story because me personally, I think when it comes to being a good wife, I don't think that's something that is determined by what race you are. I think you're either a good woman or a bad woman based on who you are on the inside. So thanks be unto the most high God, he happened to get a hold of a good woman, regardless of what her culture is. But I'm going to share a story with you where I knew a young lady when I was back in the day when I was married and she was married to a black man and she was a white girl. And, uh, you know, this woman, when she would get mad at her husband, she would call him nigger. She would call him names. And one, and I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, she would call him the N word. Whenever she would get mad with him, she would call him the N-word and call him good for nothing, all kind of stuff. And the man had a good job. He'd bring all, he would bring all his money home to her. I mean, me and my ex-husband at the time could not understand why she would be so vicious whenever she would get angry with him. So one day, you know, uh, while he was at work, I just decided to ask her, I said, so, you know, why do you treat him so bad? You know, when you guys get angry with each other, you... you it's just so bad. I mean, if you hate him, because you've actually said, I hate you. I said, if you feel that way, why are you married to this man? And she said, because of his money. She said, I married him because of his money, and he made promises to me, and now, you know, I'm just I'm just tired of him. I'm sick of him. And, 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 and I feel like when African-American men try to put up this front that white women treat them so much better than the sisters, when I have proof and she's not the only one i mean i've I've, this is throughout my lifetime i've known women and it they just so happen to be white who treated their husbands poorly i mean the ones who were married to black men and white men they treated their men horribly and i was always on the side wondering what the heck why are you doing this to your husband and i i just got to an understanding where either our men are brainwashed into believing this crap or the new thing is treat your man bad and you'll keep him. That's what I started thinking. Okay. Because that's all I was seeing. Okay, I got one even better so for you. I'm, I'm, I'm a lend, wait a minute. Don't go. Uh, look, I'm going to lend credence to what you said. Because I agree with what you said. My, great, my grandmother, who was mulatto, her father was white. I think I told you this the other day, right, John? Yeah. My, um, my, my grandmother, um, um, Lily Mae Campbell, who was living Lily Mae Harrison? She had a house full of brothers and sisters, and all of them were mulatto. Their father. Now you gotta mind you now. If my father was twenty nine years old in nineteen seventy two, that means that in nineteen what forty three. You know when my grandmother had him. That's when she had my father. So imagine how young she was when she had when in the twenties. The, the, the teens and the twenties when she was born, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 
she told me, she said, do not bring a white woman home. I said, ma'am? She said, don't you never bring a white woman home. I said, okay. And when, you know, I, I left it at that. And years later, I went by and she was talking to one of my other cousins in the house. She said, he had a white girl. She said, let me tell you something. She said, just because a white woman or a white man have sex with you, don't make them any less racist. She said, because a white man, a white man had, had a house full of children for my mama, but he still hated black men. And he would still hate wow. black women, and he still looked down on black women and would beat my mama. She said, he would still remind us that we was part nigga. Her exact words, to be exact. So, I wow. get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying. Right. But. Yeah, I mean, in my. Go ahead. My issue, my issue with the whole relationship and thing is we have to be fair with each other. All women, all women of all nationalities, you know, be, be fair. There is no such thing as she's a bad wife because she's black oh, or she's a bad wife because she's, she's white, white. She just, or she's person. a bad wife because she's Hispanic. That's all I'm trying to say. And unfortunately, the media supports this. I'm going to call it white supremacy because that's what it is. I mean, we're constantly bombarded with this image of the white woman being the perfect wife, the perfect everything. And, and, and that's how come, you know, and, and it's sad to say, but I have run into African-American men who say, wow, you're a beautiful woman. But, you know, I don't date black girls. Oh, God. I, I, I'm not I, making I, this up. I'm not making this up. I know. I know. That's I, what I'm saying. I got, Marlon, I got men black, I got black, our, I got our, our, A lot of our men have been brainwashed to believe he's stepping down. If he's st- if he doesn't get a white woman, that's all I'm trying to say. We have to we have to keep it real and we have to be honest across the board. You can get a good woman based on who she is on the inside, not based on her culture or or her race. That's all I'm trying to say. Let me tell you something, so, Marlene. I had a young woman tell me something the other day, and my kid J Rock can uh, can attest to this. And we were joking. I said, "Baby, I ain't you. I, I I can't be you. I can't be your sugar daddy." I, uh, I ain't that guy. I'm just. I'm. First of all, I I ain't in the old school sugar daddy way. I ain't even gonna pull one on me. I think I'm gonna give you no money, pay no bill for you. Pat me on the head and send me home. You gotta, you gotta stop playing with me. I'm I'm not that dude. And I said, but y'all better learn. Mm-hmm. These sugar daddies got they they come with weapons of, of destruction. And I call Viagra. You mess around here if you want them. <laughs> Get you one of these sugar daddies or not. Sugar daddy not come. He come out with a come out with a with, with a stick of butter. But naked, telling you, look here, we got to do something for that forty dollar girl. <laughs> you, know what I'm you have problems with these, uh, these new school sugar daddies. His name ain't Mandingo uh-uh. either. Uh-uh, come here, girl. Let me talk to you. I got great pubic hair and Viagra. You better watch that. And I'm being honest. She said, "I oh, I could, I wouldn't want no black sugar daddy. I want a white man." I said, boy, look here. We we got nothing else to talk about. I said, because at one point in time, I said, let me tell you something. Y'all better learn y'all history. Y'all wouldn't be so quick to go hop in the beds of your oppressor. And I say that not because I hate anybody, but you have to understand where you come from, why you've been made to feel the way you feel, black men and black black men and black women. We've been made to feel that we ain't good enough for each other. And I'm exactly. A, and That's I'm, my point exactly. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it a little further. Y'all remember when that that boy, that little, the little, the little, the little sissy boy, the little sissy boy, that came, Michael Sam's. <laughs> y'all remember? He got a he he got the he got the I lick pecker mouth. I'm just gonna let y'all know. He, he oh, looked dude. Yeah, he got an ugly. He, I look at him like ugh. He looked like he liked ugly boys. He, he ugh, and he kept kissing <laughs> that little skinny white boy up on ESPN. Ugh. And I kept saying to myself, we ain't good enough for each other. Damn. Perfect. Enough. Let's go a little further. Let's, 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 let's bring it back to the, to, to, to the now. Not the then, the now. Y'all remember when, um, when, when Empire first started and the little, the little gay one? The little, the little gay one. The gay boy. Well, I don't Empire. really watch that. I, I, I don't watch when, that when show. I, watch, so I can't. I, I don't I, know what's going I start, on on I that stream show. It, I stream it now because I oh. I, I watch it and I use it for my for my for all the stuff I talk about. Something comes out of that show because I'm streaming it. I'm writing notes. Now I'm like, God damn, we really feel as well about. They really want to make us feel as well about each other. He had a white boyfriend, and he wanted to bring. Well, you, you don't. And wait a minute, wait a minute, it's, wait a minute, wait a minute. But it ain't just the, it just, okay. it ain't just him. It's even they even showing you black women with white women that they 
me and my kid were walking down the street the other, was driving down the street the other day. There was a black girl and a white girl, and the white girl looked like looked like somebody's little brother. And oh my god. I ain't lying. She likes somebody ugly ass little brother. I'm like, God damn, you could have got a you could have got a pretty boy for that one. God damn, she ugly. She was, <laughs> she was she looked like she looked like she got hit in the face with a sack of nickels. I'm talking about, oh God. And and she they walking down the street holding hands and kissing. And I'm like, this broad day like you want somebody to see you with this little ugly this little ugly pound of bell. And <laughs> I stopped and said, you know what? Society has made us believe that we ain't good enough for each other. Right. I mean, and that's like, again, that's my primary point. You know, I feel like as an African-American woman, we get so much of uh, a degradation, you know, when it comes to being us, where to the point where, you know, no man, you know, think about it. Hispanic men love Hispanic women. They think their women are beautiful. And the same with Asian. Asian men think their Asian women are beautiful. Um, Caucasian men think Caucasian women are beautiful. But the African-American man, for some reason, has some kind of this whole list of negative things to say about his queen. But so does so black like, women you know, now. Come on now. So does black women. So does black women. Stop doing that. You can't just throw one out there without throwing both out there. Because we both, we don't okay, both. Okay, well. We don't both done some real foul shit each other. Wait a minute now. Think of it like this. If you're that, remember back in the day when you were that, uh, the, the kid that nobody wanted on the team, right? Uh, and then all of a sudden I, 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 somebody I never, comes along and says, was, "Hey, you come on, you can I be was, on my team." I was that's, ne- that's what's happening to the. That's what's happening to us as women. The, Our men pass us by. They don't want us on the team. We've been conditioned and brainwashed into thinking we're not good enough for each other. So here we are out here. Some of us successful. Some of us smart, nice, pretty, everything. But we're that kid over there in the corner wishing somebody would say, "Hey, you. Yeah, I want you on the team." Finally, somebody comes along. He just might not happen to be the guy you thought you wanted to be on, you originally wanted to be on, you know, Michael Jordan's team, so to speak. But, hey, here comes this guy, you know, uh, from some other place. And he said, hey, babe, come on. Can you, can, you can come on my team. What, what the heck? Of course you're going to go on his team. Because at the end of the day, you need to be loved, period. You need to be loved and you need a man. So if somebody shows up and decides he wants you on the team, look, you just got to kiss the dream of Michael Jordan goodbye after so long because Michael Jordan's out there running after Kim Kardashian. But wait a minute. Let's you got to be over here. Wait a minute. Marlene, so I'm, you I'm, think, I'm, I'm, but wait a minute, Marlene, that goes both ways. That goes both ways. That, that goes both no, ways. No, because... Baby, listen. I know. No, because you guys mm. did it first. You guys, you're the really? one. You're all, okay, put it, put really? it like this. Pull up the statistics. Search the statistics. Let, let me tell you about How statistics. How many African American women are single let, as opposed to African American men? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. See, the men are married. Let me give you one. You ready for this? You said we did it first. Yes. You a damn lie, and I say that to your face. I'm gonna say it just like that, cause master, you a lot of black women realize that sleeping with master got them perks that sleeping with um the field hand wouldn't. So you can talk all you want. It may have started out one way, but there, no offense. I'm gonna even take it even farther. There, there have traditionally always been more black babies, more mixed babies born to women than it was to men. And I make okay, you can't take it back. You can't take it back there because those were forced issues. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But so, so, so you can't say we did. You can't say that. Listen. There was no freedom in that. Listen to me. Even after freedom, even after freedom happened, there was always a black woman being side chick to a white man in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Now you can talk all you want. Now, where's the proof of that? Because the only thing I remember is the I got a mixed family. I got a mixed family. (laughs) I got a mixed family. I come from mixed lineage. Okay. I'm just saying now. I got, now, I, I, now I can go way, way, way back. My, you gotta realize something. My great grandmother, um, Lenora Robbins, uh, Lenora Patterson, she took me way back. She, even after slavery, even after slavery was over, black women still, still could get away with being a, with a white man, where a black man could not get away with a white woman. We still had to sneak. And, 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 and now, okay, well. now they're taking all these. Now they're taking all these these polls and, and they make the black man out to be the bad guy that he's the that he that he dates outside of his race more than any other race that guess what 
I'm going to simply say this here. You know why that is? Because the average black woman don't marry the white man. He don't marry her. The average black man marries that white woman. That black woman just screws that white man. But if you watch TV, if you watch TV, let's really be honest. If you ever watch TV and you see the relationship dynamic in the TV, the white guy that the black woman is dating, he's always successful, powerful. And he's they make him out to be everything. But if the white woman is dating the black man in them TV shows, he, they just fucking. Let's call it what it is. Uh, no, no, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't see that same dynamic. No, I, I mean, from, from, from what I understand, from what I see, I don't see you know, TV and in reality okay. is... You know, the black woman has become the side chick for the black men. Really? And he'll go home to a white wife. Really? What about the president yeah, on scandal? What about the white president on scandal? We can talk about this all day long. John, you got something to say? Okay, so here's what I do. I watch, ask my wife. I am all over TV when commercials come on. Here's the image, okay? Let me tell you, let me tell you what's, okay. what's been going on for a while with the image. I, am, I study TV and watch it, news, cable, all that kind of stuff. The preponderance of television ads that have mixed race couples. I say this to my wife every time. Every time I see one, I pause it and I go, "Look, look what it is." Right. What it? What right. do you think it is, Nate? Black man, Ninety-eight percent of the time. Black man, white woman. Huh? Black man, white no, woman. There you on go. The, on the on the on the TV. Oh, ads. on TV. No, TV ads. It's white white men, black women. What is it? Tell me exactly what it is. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna describe for you exactly what every ad is. And I'll show. I'll bring up fifty of them. Oh, on they're, they're loving, loving, happy. It's just, um, it's the white guy, clean cut, looks successful. It's the black woman. And you know what the black woman looks like? Doesn't look like black woman that you see out on the street. Doesn't look like a regular American woman. Uh She's got the permed hair that looks like. Right. I say this to my wife. I go, look, look, look look, at, I say, look at the uppity black chick with the white guy. They have the same hair. I'm telling you. They have curly hair that appeals to white. I'm a white guy. It's what appeals to us. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay? Doesn't look like. Mm-hmm. And the black woman is happy. They're in a family. They're hanging out. They're doing positive stuff. Okay? That's what the ad is. Mm-hmm. The one mm-hmm. time, the one do you know what the one time the ad came on with the black man and the I, white woman? I, when it, exactly the, what it is. It was the Cheerios. Cheerios. The Cheerios commercial. And they went ape And black shit women went crazy. ape shit crazy. I never did that. The place <laughs> First the of house. all, why in the was, why in the world would they feed that fucking baby Cheerios? Well, Okay, but they went I'm crazy. Watching... Do, you, do you know how many okay. ads come on every day with the white guy and the black woman? They come on so much you don't even notice them anymore. There's a Swiffer Sweeper commercial I that mean, comes well, on. I'm, you seen I'm, that Swiffer Sweeper commercial? Looking, maybe I'm looking at something different. But what, what I, oh, I see, see it every time. more than anything is the black man with the white woman. Of like, course, because they want you to feel that way. It's a they, movie they, where Will they, Smith plays this God and, you know, he has this demigod woman that shows up, you know, anyway. Really? I'm using this as an example because this is the what image about, that what about, I see hold everywhere. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, the, wait a minute, wait a minute. Apart. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm going like, to give you one. Why not give Will Smith a black goddess. Okay, Why I got. She had to be a white goddess. I'm finna give you one. Sentence. I'm finna give you one. I'm finna okay. give you one. I'm finna. Wait a minute. I'm finna give you one. Tell me which was a better movie, Monsters Ball or Raising Isaiah? I can't say that again. What was a better movie, Monsters Ball or Raising Isaiah? Well, I didn't see Monsters Ball, but I heard about it. Raising and Isaiah. I didn't see Raising Isaiah either. Raising <laughs> so Isaiah so was I a. Can't. You go back and see for yourself. That black woman put her put it down on raising Isaiah. She was okay, but when she get when she did the 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 the, 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 the screw scene with the white boy on top, she won an Oscar. Black men she everywhere. Wanna, oh come she, on! She didn't win an Oscar for that. No, she didn't win an Oscar for it. Go, I go, I Wait a minute. Why? What role? What role? What role, what role did Holly, Halle Berry win um Oscar for? Monsters Ball. Monsters or, Ball. Okay, right. raising Isaiah was her better body of work. Now you go okay, watch the movie for yourself and refute that for me. The white man was her savior. The white man was her lover. The white man was the one that. Hey, as, hang on, Nate. I'm good. Just to just to back up my point, I'm going to bring. Hold on, up wait a minute. A hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Just to, just to give you one. You know what the word was? Do you know what the word was? What she said in um, in in the movie, her line was, "Wasn't it? Make me feel good. I'm through with it. Go ahead. Show the part. Show the. Yeah. Okay. So here you go. Here's here, here's it. This is exactly what I'm telling you. Look! Look at my description of what I told you. Exactly what these ads are. That's this is the Sealy Posturepedic uh, ad. This is the Ford Escape ad. 
This this entire article is written about that fact. <laughs> that I'm just telling you what I watch. Ask my wife. I drive her crazy. I go, look, look, look at that. I, look at she, I, I bet she says you've been hanging with Nate too damn long. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did this way before you. <laughs> I'm just telling you that I notice it. I had a person that I work with. I, I shall not name her. Old school. Oh, yeah. Donnie Donkey? No, I, don't, I don't even want to say where she was. <laughs> She's old school. She grew up in Florida where there was um, separate bathrooms. I had the whole discussion. I told you this, right? I said, yes. what is it? I don't understand the bathroom. I kind of understand the other stuff. I don't agree with it, but I, I, I kind of understand. Why do they have separate bathrooms? She said, well, because you know, because black people don't know how to take care of shit. And I go, okay, so ab- apply that towards a bathroom. What do you mean they don't need to take care of it? Do, they, do black people shit on the seat and leave it a walk away? Do they piss on the wall? What do they do? Well, you see the outsides of their house, don't you? And I go, yeah. And not every, that's a preponderance, not anything. I said to her, you know what? I was delivering TVs in the 80s. You want to know who the most shit-kicking people on the fucking planet are? <laughs> did, White did. people. They are the dirtiest, nastiest, grossest fucking people on the planet. And I, I never did. went in one housing project in Syracuse, New York, and saw a shitty inside of a black person's house. Never. That stunk. I went in a house with a white guy. He had dog shit in his living room piled up for days. So don't tell me that fucking so, crap. So Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish the conversation. She said, we went on. She said, and these advertisements with the black women and the white men, they're all making these suggestions that this is the way it's supposed to be. I think that's the wrongest thing, that mixed race couples should be portrayed in an ad. And I said, but that's how America is now, man. There's mixed race couples. I mean, there's a lot. There's a shitload of them. There's like 12 million of them or some shit like that. They shouldn't advertise it. It shouldn't be on my television set. I said, well, keep watching Fox News because that shit will never show up on a Fox News show. <laughs> keep watching it. <laughs> Fucking, you ain't seeing this silly oh posturepedic on You'll never Bill see O'Reilly. Thing. You're going to see the prostate gland shit and all that <laughs> fucking but, catheter and all that crap. But here's what I'm trying to get you to see. Well, Marlene, you know, I Marlene, used to clean homes Mar- 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 for a short, very short time. Mar- and, but you let- know, it's funny that Mar- oftentimes Mar- when I'm Mar- dealing with realtors, they will sometimes say, uh, well, you know, certain neighborhoods, black like neighborhoods, they'll always say that, you know, we don't keep our houses clean or we don't, you know, take care of the properties. And so I, I had to confront one of the realtors who said that to me because I said, listen, I clean homes. And every black home I go into is immaculate. And right. the only thing I'm really doing is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wiping the toilet a little bit. There's not much to do. It's very fancy. It's pretty. It's nice, you know. But a couple of the other houses, and I hate to say it, but the only houses that I went to that were pet, I mean, literally, I went, I cleaned a woman's house who had dog poop that had been there for y- weeks. Yeah. She had bird poop, dog poop. I had never seen a house so dirty. It's unbelievable. And she was not black. Yep. I'm just going to say she was not black. But, I'm Marlene, really, you know, but Marlene. So I think this is when we get to stereotypes. People perpetuate false stereotypes based on things that have been carried out throughout our society. And we need to confront those stereotypes and it needs to stop. I don't think people are dirty based on their culture. I think people are dirty are dirty based on who they are it doesn't matter whether they're white black or whatever dirty people are everywhere and they are in every culture so that's my thing my position in life is we need to tell the truth we need to you know balance the scale because everybody's coming down on the black woman everyone's saying the black woman doesn't know how to raise her kids she doesn't keep her house clean uh she's always out at the club you know there's all these negative things about black women whereas the black women I know are sophisticated, classy, take care of their homes, have nice um, things. You know, their kids are smart. I don't, I don't know the black people that they're talking about. I they are either. out there. I, well, I know. Yes, they are. They're I out know. there. But there's more positive images in the African-American community than there are the negative ones. And it's just getting a little tired that they are constantly exploiting the negative images. And it, and it needs to stop. And that's why I say our men, I think, are marrying more outside of their culture because, come on, what man wants to come home to an image that, even though he's looking at a, a great woman, when he goes outside those doors every day, which is where he spends most of his time, all he's seeing and hearing is the negative. 
So he's being conditioned into thinking that the black woman he has at home is a step down, you know, it's, it's negative. But if he gets this big, wonderful queen over here that everyone says is clean, everyone says is perfect, she knows how to raise her kids, she, you know, she knows how to season her food, she's a go-getter, she has her own company, you know, this, this, this is all a mind game. So anyway, I, I know we have to, I have to end my segment. Mar- Marlene, Marlene. Because <laughs> I have to, I Mar- have to Mar- run out. But I just wanted to share my point of view. And I also want to point out, it's very inter- interesting that we have the opinion of a white male, the opinion of a black male, and the opinion of a black woman, or African-American woman, I should say. I, I don't really like to say black. but And, and it's, it, it's important that, our opinions get out there because how we're going to heal America is if we confront the things that disturb these particular people. Because everybody else is looking out for each other. What? But us, we, 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 there's something going on with the African-American man, the Caucasian man, and the African-American woman. There's something going on there that needs to be healed. And the only way it's going to get healed is if we talk. Exactly. And Marlene, can you hear me? Can, can you hear me? Marlene? Huh? Okay. Can yes. You, listen, here's my here's, here's my, my synopsis of the whole situation. It started way back. This has been a, a building a, a building deal for years, hundreds of years. Back to the Willie Lynch the Willie Lynch deal. When he made the statement, um the most important the most important person that you are to break is not the black man but the black woman because if you if you break the black woman she will deliver her offspring to you mentally mentally weak but physically strong and now right, and, right. and 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 a lot of you i've heard black folks say well i never heard of this until like the 60s i'm like well that don't mean it didn't exist it just mean you was you was too sleep to go look for it <laughs> and and my issue is simply this if you're going to come to me and you're going to tell me about how bad the black man is, a lot of black women don't want to hear me say this. It's your fault you raised it. Because the average average home now is male is a, a female raising males. So whatever that black man is, you raised it. I don't care if his daddy wasn't there because at the end of the day, you raised it. You got the most influence on him. And if he treat black women a certain way, a lot of times it's the black woman's fault. Not all her fault, but a lot of times because she raised him. Because nobody wants right. to talk and about I, that fact. I, nobody wants to talk about that fact. I mean, I, I, I can say that I, 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 how do I say this? I think my boys came out pretty good. And I think that my boys are going to be pursued. They are. They are pursued by, you know, women. White women. They are pursued. White women like the cream of the crop. So I did good with my boys. But this is the problem. A lot of our women, and I have heard them say it, I've heard women say, don't you go, don't you marry your black girl. You too good for a black girl. You need to go get your white girl. I've heard it with my own ears. So the problem is you're right to, to an extent, Nate, you're right. It has somewhat to do with the raising, but it's not all the raising. You know, you have to admit and accept that our minds uh, are weak to media, to what, what we're exposed to our environment. So you can have the best raising in the world, but when you go out there to that job or to that school or whatever, you're interacting with people in society, you, you know, peer pressure and everything comes into play. You know, what, what is happening is, is you, you're going to gravitate towards what is happening. And unfortunately for the African-American woman, what is happening now is she's being degraded. It's happening in music. It's happening in the, uh, in the media. It's happening all around. So our good boys, we raised up to be strong and nice. They have to deal with it, too. They have been constantly told that, hey, don't you go get a black girl. You're too good for that. You need to get what everybody's telling you. good. You Go get your trophy. And, and we've been brainwashed. All of society, not just the black. All of society has been brainwashed into believing the trophy woman is the white woman. So I kind of feel sorry for Caucasian men, too, don't get me wrong, because a lot of them, sometimes they can even be attracted to a nice woman. That, uh, you know, they could be a single Caucasian man attracted to, a, and I've seen this, too, attracted to a single African-American woman at the job. But because his friend said, well, you know, you, know, you don't want to date a black girl. You know, you don't want to do that. 
to pass up the opportunity and wind up with a girl and he just happens to be white because that's what he's used to who treats them like crap. Because he didn't want to step out of the box. He didn't want to defy the, uh, you know, how do you say, uh, what's going on? He didn't want to defy that. He just Stand wanted to uh, get away from the taboo and, and, and stick with the white girl. So it's the same thing, Nate. You have to just be honest. It's not all the black woman's fault. It's not. Women, some of us are putting out, you know, good men. And they're getting scooped by everybody else except for a sweet little black girl. I tell, I'm going to be honest. I tell my boys, I, I want you to be in love with whoever you want to be in love with. But please, you know, give a sister a chance. Don't just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to be all too happy if you show up to my house with a white girl. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I love all people, but I feel like you know, hey, the sisters need husbands too, and I I I I put some good stuff in you, and I really would like a sister to have the benefit because too many of us are single, and it's not fair. They got enough. They got up. They have rich. They have wealthy men. All most of the men are already looking for white girls. I'm sorry, but me, my boy, look, give a sister a chance. Well, hey, I look, I I totally agree with you. Give a sister a chance, but. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That is it. You have. I let you have the last word, the last say, and I want them to remember this. Give a sister a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. But why are you giving sisters possibly. a chance? I want your sisters to be giving you a chance. Stop holding out on them skins <laughs> and playing like you don't want to act right. Handle that thing okay. like you. Handle that thing the way you think you're supposed to. You know, we all need a little love in our life. Feel on your man a little bit. Make us smile. <laughs> Do some good things to us. Thank you all for joining me on Experience the Galaxy with Nate Campbell. Next week is going to be another show, and we're going to talk about some more serious stuff. Well, this was serious to me. Much love. Peace.